Hi, uh, in this video tutorial I will cover abstract factory design pattern uh, implementation. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, factory design pattern introduction, factory design pattern implementation video tutorials and also watch uh, abstract factory design pattern introduction video tutorial. Then come and watch this uh, abstract factory design pattern implementation uh, tutorial so that uh, you will understand this uh, tutorial very clearly. So this is a class diagram of uh, sample code which I am going to show. Here you can see animal interface. It has uh, speak method and uh, this animal interface is implemented by five different classes like uh, cat class, lion class, dog class, uh, short class and octobus class. So this uh, cat will uh, implement this speak method and it will return meow meow. This uh, lion will implement uh, this speak method and it will return uh, roar. This uh, dog will implement this speak method and it will return bark bark. Like that uh, the shark class will implement this speak method and it will return uh, cannot speak. And uh, this octopus class will implement uh, this speak method and it will return squawk. Uh, and in the top you can see there are uh, two animal uh, factory classes. One is land animal factory, another one is sea animal factory. So this uh, uh, why we have uh, two factory classes is uh, this cat, lion and dog. So which are uh, living in the land. So this falls under the category of land animals. So like that uh, this shark and octopus uh, which are living in sea. So this falls under the category of uh, sea animals. So we have uh, two factory classes and uh, this land animal factory class is responsible for uh, uh, creating the land animal objects and returning to the color. The sea animal factory is responsible for uh, creating the sea animal object and uh, returning to the color. So here you can see this land animal factory has uh, get animal method and it has uh, parameter as uh, animal uh, type. So based on the parameter we passed, uh, the parameter animal type we passed, it will return one of the animal uh, object. Either it will return a cat or lion or dog. So like that uh, the sea animal factory based on the animal type passed, it will uh, return either a shark or octopus object to the collar. And uh, here you can see the animal factory which act as a abstract factory. It is a super factory of uh, this land animal factory and sea animal factory. And uh, it has uh, get animal factory method. So based on the factory type uh, we passed, uh, it will uh, either return land animal factory object or uh, sea animal factory object to the collar. Suppose say uh, if we pass uh, uh, factory type as uh, uh, C, then it will return uh, uh, sea animal factory object to the collar. If we pass uh, factory type as uh, land, then it will uh, create uh, land animal factory object and it will return to the collar. Okay. Uh, this is about uh, class diagram of uh, the sample code which I am going to show. Uh, now we will open Eclipse and uh, I will show you the sample code. So here uh, you can see the Java classes uh, which are involved in uh, this abstract factory design pattern. So I will open uh, class diagram. So here uh, animal uh, interface and uh, uh, cat, lion, dog, shark and octopus classes. right? So I will open this uh, corresponding Java files in the sample project. So this animal interface, it has a speak method, which is abstract method. And uh, I will open uh, cat.java. So this cat class uh, implements uh, uh, animal interface and uh, provide uh, implementation of uh, the speak method and it will return meow meow like that. Uh, uh, doc class implements uh, animal interface and it provides implementation of speak method and uh, it will return spark bark and uh, like that this uh, lion class implements animal interface and it provides implementation of speak method and it will return roar and uh, like that this octobus uh, implements animal interface and provide implementation of speak method and it will return squawk like that the shark class implements animal interface and provide implementation of speak method and it will return uh, cannot speak. 
um, next I will open the class diagram so you have uh, land animal factory and sea animal factory I will open uh, that Java classes So this is a land animal uh, factory class uh, which ex extends animal factory. So I will open animal factory dot Java. This animal factory is abstract class and it has uh, abstract method uh, get animal method and uh, it has uh, one more method called get animal factory method. We'll see this one uh, next. Uh, I will open land animal factory dot Java and explain. Uh, so it extend uh, animal factory so that animal factory has uh, get animal method uh, that is uh, in uh, animal factory class uh, that uh, get animal method is abstract uh, method so this land animal factory will implement this uh, get animal uh, uh, abstract method and provide implementation uh, so this get animal what it will do is based on the animal type passed it will uh, create uh, either doc object or cat object or line object and assign to the super interface uh, reference variable and it will return to the color color um, so like that uh, i will open uh, c animal factory so c animal factory also extend uh, animal factory uh, ab uh, abstract class and uh, it has get animal method uh, and based on the animal type passed uh, it will uh, either create a shark object or octopus object and assign to super interface animal uh, reference variable and uh, it will return the super interface reference variable to the caller okay next i will open the animal factory so this animal factory is a abstract class and it acts as a super factory for the land factory and uh, a land animal factory uh, class and sea animal factory class okay and it has uh, get animal factory method based on the factory type we passed it will uh, either return uh, sea animal factory or land animal factory to the caller okay that is the work of this animal factory uh, class um okay next i will open uh, client.java uh, okay so here uh, uh, what I am doing is uh, I am creating uh, animal factory uh, uh, object okay so I am passing uh, either C or uh, land so if I am passing C then I will get the uh, animal factory as uh, C uh, animal factory as uh, uh, C animal factory object then I can uh, pass some parameter to the get animal method and uh, uh, get any uh, any object like uh, I can get a shark object or octopus object uh, what I will do is uh, I will uh, I will run this uh, sample code in debug mode so that uh, you can understand uh, this code very clearly so first I will run in debug mode I have put uh, some uh, debug points here so I am running in debug mode first okay so here uh, uh, initially what I am doing is uh, I am creating animal reference which is null okay and animal factory uh, which is null and string speak sound uh, equal to equal to null okay it is initially it is null and uh, uh, here what I am doing is get factory object by passing the factory type so what uh, we are doing is we are calling animal factory uh, animal factory dot get animal factory method by passing the c okay so this get animal factory method is static so without creating the object i am calling so we will go to this uh, uh, animal factory class and see what it is happening okay so it is coming here uh, so here you can see factory type as c okay we are passing c so it comes here
so we are passing c so it came into the if block of c and it is creating c animal factory and it returns c animal factory to the uh, client right so you can see c animal factory here so you can uh, see uh, we got uh, animal factory type as c animal factory so now we got uh, c animal factory so using uh, c animal factory object uh, we are trying to get either shark object or octopus object so in this case uh, we are trying to get the shark object by passing the animal type as shark okay so animal factory dot get animal method will be called we will go inside this get animal method and see what happens so it comes to the get animal method so we are passing uh, animal type as shark right so it will come inside this if block and uh, it will uh, create the shark object and it will return uh, that shark object uh, to the caller it will assign that uh, shark object to the animal uh, reference and uh, that animal reference will be written to the caller we will see that so here you can see it came uh, inside the if block created uh, shark object and assigned to the animal uh, reference which is the super interface and uh, that animal reference is written to the caller so here you can see we got uh, shark object right so it is printing uh, shark here and uh, now this animal no it is pointing to the shark object so shark object speak method will be called you will see that so shark object uh, speak method is called and it returns cannot speak so you can see the output here it returns cannot speak so like that uh, same thing right so we are calling uh, 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 get animal method by passing uh, octobus so we got animal type octobus and it called octobus object uh, speak method and it returns quack next uh, we are passing uh, land uh, to the get animal factory method so what it returns is uh, it will return uh, land animal factory object so once we get uh, land animal uh, factory object we can get land animal objects right so that we are going to see here so animal factory dot get animal we are passing doc so what this uh, will uh, do is it will uh, return doc object to the caller right so we will go inside this get animal method so what we are passing is doc right so it will go inside this uh, if block and it created the doc object and assigned to the super interface reference variable and uh, now that animal uh, so this now that animal reference uh, points to the doc object that uh, animal reference will return to the caller we'll see that now we can see that animal points to the doc object so next you can see we can uh, we have, we got doc object then uh, what we are doing is animal dot speak now this animal is pointing to doc so it will call doc object speak method right so it went inside the doc object speak method and uh, this speak method will return bark bark to the caller so 
so you can see uh, it returns uh, bark bark so same way uh, we are passing uh, cat to the get animal method of uh, uh, land animal factory and uh, you got uh, cat right here and uh, it called a uh, uh, cat object to speak method and it runs uh, meow meow same thing uh, we are doing for lion so finally we got uh, uh, roar it is calling a line object uh, speak method so now I think uh, you understand uh, this one clearly right so this is the final output and I will open the class diagram again and uh, this is about uh, abstract factory design button implementation and I have, uh, have put together all my uh, sample codes in my block called ROM JTE so you can uh, log into my uh, ROM JTE block and you can get the sample codes and uh, this is about abstract factory design button uh, implementation and uh, thanks for watching bye